React Native Developers. In the last video, we introduced a new function in Redash that allows us to decompose any 2D transformation into a translate, rotate, scale, rotate transformation. And as I mentioned in the video, I was not sure yet what to do with this new cool tool. Well, spoiler alert, we're gonna go to the third dimension with it. But before we get into it, little did I know while doing the video is that you cannot express any 2D transformations on iOS nor Android, or can't we? Let's have a look. Guys, I hope you are well. William here recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. Here, I wrote down a simple transform. You can see on the top side here, I'm sending the transform directly to React Native. And on the bottom side, I am using decompose 2D from Redash that computes the transformation matrix for the transform and decompose it into um, translate, rotate, scale, rotate. So if the function works properly used in this context, it should always be pixel for pixel, exactly the same transformation than above. So uh, let's uh, add something, maybe a rotate, of um, 90 degrees, so pi divided by two. And so you see here at the bottom, the transformation looks good. It was rotating from 80, uh, 90 degrees and then skewed on the X axis. But the transformation sent directly to React Native Reanimated looks kind of strange. And if we go to the file that process these transformations on iOS, we can easily see what the mistake is. So here we see skew X or skew Y. Instead of creating a new identity matrix, setting the tan skew on M21 or M12 and multiplying it to the current transformation matrix, we erase uh, whatever was the value in M21, which leads to exactly this rotation, but then one parameter was erased with the skew X, so that's why it looks uh, so strange. And I think I'm gonna try uh, this week to suggest a fix for it. I have little um, native, exp I have zero uh, native development experience, but I think if we look at the API, from this uh, website, so we can build an identity matrix. We can set M12 or M21 with the proper value, and then we can use, I think it's called concat, which does the matrix multiplication that we need. And I think this should fix the bug. But originally I got super excited because it's, I think quite known that uh, SKU X doesn't work on Android. Why it doesn't, why doesn't it work? It, skew Y works uh, very well. And I was thinking, since we use the decomposition function and we're not using uh, a skew transform, we're decomposing into uh, rotate, scale, rotate, it might uh, work on Android perfectly. But spoiler alert, it doesn't. So you see here, it's uh, the screen of my Android device and on Android skew, uh, so the rotate work the skew value didn't work and neither using the decompose transform. So I decided to investigate what was going on there. And I ended up looking at the decomposition function in the Java side on Android to realize that first, it was using decomposition on the Java side to set the proper transformation to the view. And that is, it is very likely that this decomposition function has a bug in it. And so I was looking at compute XY shear factor. And here it, this is done twice. So it looks a bit strange. So I thought, okay, maybe there is a bug in the decomposition function. This is a decomposition function in 3D. So I have, uh, zero experience on how it works, but I know that the exact same function is done, implemented in JavaScript on the React Native side. So I think if I go to 
matrix math. We have the uh, decomposed matrix, which uh, looks, you see, it seems to be a copy and paste from uh, the decompose function on the Java side. So I was thinking, let's try this JavaScript function. If the bug appears using this function, we can debug the JavaScript function to find why the skew x parameter is wrong. And then we can fix it also on the Java side. And so what I did is that I copied the process transform file here. So this is from the uh, React Native repository. I copied it because by default, this function, if you run on iOS or on Android, is sending the transformation directly. It's not computing the transformation matrix. So I copied the source code, disabled this check on the platform, and see if the decomposition here works properly. If the same bug happens using this uh, decomposition function, here the skew x shouldn't work on iOS. So let's have a look. So here we're going to do process transform of the transformation. And I just need to change here these values to be strings quickly. Okay, so here, let me put it back to two. So here we have the same transformation as it should be. And here nothing happens, but I think it's because I'm using animated view. So there's maybe, I think, some values which uh, maybe were a string or something. So here, using process transform, because so first this is using decomposition also like the function I showed you, you don't have the same iOS bug because at the end you don't have this uh, a cell in the matrix that was uh, overwritten, but you can see that the skewing works perfectly, which means that this decomposition function doesn't have the same bug than on Android. So what I decided to do is to compare the two decomposition function in, to try to see if we can identify the bug. So we have D1 and D2. So as you can see on the left side, we have the Java implementation. No, on the right side, and um, on the left side with the JavaScript implementation. So they look pretty similar. So I was okay, sharing. So here it actually looks identical. So it doesn't seem to be where the issue is. But here we have rotation degrees, which seems to be calculated in a completely different way on the Java side and on the JavaScript side. And I think this is where the um, skew X bug might uh, happen. And so I'm going to try to investigate, play with this uh, process transform function to see maybe move this implementation on the JavaScript side, see if I can reproduce the Android bug. And uh, if that's the case, I think I will try to uh, use the same decomposition algorithm from JavaScript to Java. So hopefully soon we will be able to uh, do the skewx transform on Android. Now I would like to show you the new twin function in Redash. Since we know how to express any transformation using uh, rotate, scale, rotate, we can easily interpolate from any random 2D transformation to any other 2D random, random 2D transformation. So I'm going to write here transform one, and I'm going to write transform two, and they don't have to be uh, symmetrical at all. So I can use translate X 50 and maybe some rotate, no skewing scale is okay. And so what I'm going to do here is create a progress value. So I'm going to use use loop from Redash. So I'm going to create a loop of, let's say, two seconds. And we're going to interpolate the transform. So transform is twin 2D, so new function from Redash. We pass the progress 
value and the first, the source transform and the destination transform. And here, so I'm gonna switch back to reanimated and pass the transform as parameter. So you can see here, it nicely interpolates from any 2D transformation to the other. The math behind this decomposition function is absolutely beautiful. I looked up a lot of 2D decomposition functions and I found some to be super complex and other to actually be somewhat imprecise. This one is simple, beautiful, any 2D transform to a rotate, scale, rotate. In Redash, we implement it by building a 3x3, three three, so 2D homogeneous transform matrix for the 2D transformation we send. And because this algorithm is so elegant, I believe that it should be extremely performant because the amount of animation node that we create to decompose the transformation is actually very small, plus we can memoize it using proc, so we only have to do it once, and we might even do it even before the first render. So I believe that this function can be lightning fast. So a new decompose 2D function in Redash that allows us to do a couple of things. First, we can offset complex transformations if they are linked to a gesture. So when we release the gesture, no matter how complex is the 2D transformation that we built, we can offset its value into a translate, rotate, scale, rotate. We can use it to build 2D transformations that are somewhat buggy on iOS. And I've shown you this twin function that easily goes from any random 2D transformation to any other random 2D transformation. Last but not least, we can use this function to build 3D transformations, and that's going to be the subject of our next video that should come out very soon, tomorrow hopefully. But before we get to the third dimension, if you are interested to learn the fundamentals of gestures and animations in React Native, I hope that you will check out my online course at startreactnative.dev. My goal with this course is to provide you with all the tools and knowledge necessary in order to build incredible user experiences in React Native that will run at 60 FPS even on low-grade Android devices. So if you are interested, I hope that you will check it out. I cannot wait to talk to you soon, guys. Hopefully, the video on 3D transformations should be out very soon. And in the meantime, happy hacking. Thank you.